Hello friends, and welcome back to Let's Play Return to Krondor. I have some sad news today. Um... I can't get back into the sewers. It seems the game just seals you off from the sewers after you do Gerard's quest. And that's sad because I wasn't done down there. <laughs> there was stuff I wanted to look at in the sewers. And, well, apparently if you don't do that stuff in the sewers in Chapter 2, when you have William around, you just can't do it at all. So, I don't know. I made some mistakes somewhere, and the mysteries of the sewers will have to remain mysteries. But there's some more stuff down there to find if you're adventurous and you want to find it. So anyway, James and Jazara are still walking around, and oh, she's got a lot of potions. I guess I'll start poking at the at the uh, quest here. Yeah, I find uh, I haven't played this game in a long time and I find I'm making a lot of little mistakes, but I mean not mistakes that'll prevent me from getting through the game, but just missing little details. Just too bad. Look if you're here about the Guildmaster, we've told all we know to the Captain of the Watch. Perhaps you could spare a moment and go over it once more. <laughs> what exactly did you tell the Captain of the Watch about the Guildmaster? Well, it doesn't take more than the brains of an ox to see it was murder, plain and simple. It was Kendarek what did it. He cost us all with his greed. If you need more details, you'd best talk to Jorath inside. He's the journeyman in charge now. That... that was not helpful. That was not helpful, Townsman. Do you know of anyone else who might know what happened last night? Jorath would still be your best bet. He's usually inside the guildhouse. What about that old sailor? Doesn't he sleep around here? You're right. You can talk to old Tom if you can find him. I don't know if the guards ever bothered to talk to him. Alright. So... Uh, it was murder. Can I help you? Who's in charge? You'll need to see Jorath. He's in the back. Uh, righty. This is a big room. James, where are you going? Yeah, I unloaded some cargoes in my day. Alright. <laughs> I don't know why we're here. I like to show things off. I'm unhappy about the sewers. I wanted to show off all of the things in there. Alright, this is a weird camera angle. I assume that since I've already answered questions, you're here to tell me you've made some progress. We are not part of the Guard. We need a ship raised. I'm afraid you're out of luck. The guild's closed. Evidently you haven't heard, but the guild master has been murdered. Yeah, that sucks for you. Um, it seems like everyone else assumes we're part of the Guard, but I guess we aren't if we don't want to be. What happened to him? He was found dead in his room. Apparently, his heart gave out. Have you any idea who's responsible for this? Yes, Kandarik. Abigail, the woman who cleans the guild house, heard Kandarik and the guild master arguing the night of the murder. Now that he's disappeared, I'm afraid it's pretty clear who's responsible. Why is the guild closing down? The Guildmaster and Journeyman Kandarek were the only members of our guild capable of leading the ritual necessary to raise a large ship. Well then, we need to speak with this Journeyman right away. <sighs> Quite impossible, I'm afraid. Kandarek is the Guildmaster's murderer, and he's gone into hiding. With both him and the Guildmaster gone, we're out of business. Which is probably not so bad, all things considered. 
What do you mean, all things considered? Uh, confidentially, the guild has been losing money for several years now. The guilds of other cities, such as Durban and Sarth, have developed new techniques that allow them to work more efficiently. They've been getting all of the contracts. But we need to have a ship raised. We're here on behalf of the Prince. I'm sorry, but we're closed. There's nothing I can do without the proper personnel. But how do you know it was Kendarik? He and the Guildmaster argued constantly. At times, it seemed they were near to blows. Abigail, the woman who cleans the Guildhouse, heard Kendarik and the Guildmaster arguing the night of the murder. That's no proof. No, but he's been missing ever since the body was found, so it's a good bet he's guilty. Who is this Kendarik? He was the eldest journeyman in our guild. Unfortunately, he was also greedy and arrogant, probably because of his half Keshian ancestry. <laughs> Do you really think his ancestry matters? Without a doubt. He'd always been arrogant, but ever since he had to give up his engagement to a kingdom girl, he's had it in for us. Her parents didn't want a Keshian marrying their daughter, and who can blame them? Kendarik was engaged? To whom? Oh, I'm sure I don't remember. Some shopkeeper. Her family called an end to the engagement about a year ago. <laughs> Let's take offense. I take offense at your obvious prejudice towards Keshian's guildsmen. Perhaps you'd care to explain yourself. Milady, I am no bigot. But as a scholar of some skill, I can tell you that Keshians, and half-breeds in particular, are generally less able to control their emotions. As the newly appointed court mage of Krondor, and as niece of Hazara Khan, ambassador of Great Kesh, I can tell you that you are gravely mistaken. I apologize most sincerely, my lady. Please forgive me. I will take it under consideration, guildsman. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Do you have any idea where he might hide? That's what the guards are for. I'm far too busy to go searching by myself. Can we look around upstairs? Oh, if you wish. But I assure you the guard has already conducted a thorough search. Hmm. I must return to work. Feel free to come back should you do something relevant. Like catch the killer? You know, this guy is pretty bitter. He really doesn't... He's really not happy. And, you know, I'm not too happy either. I need a ship raised, and I want to get into the sewers, but, you know... The apprentices downstairs said the guildmaster's room was to the west, and Kendarik's room was to the east. Alrighty... What about this room here? Ah, this is the uh, crate room. This is where all the crates are stored. <laughs> really, why are there so many empty rooms? This place has a massive amount of space, considering. What about this room? No, this is a no. This is a different room with three crates in it. I'm just saying. Huh. This place is a bit messy. I haven't touched it since the old master died. I just haven't had the heart. What can you tell us about the guild master? He was a wonderful man, but he always had a weak heart. I used to fix him hawthorn tea for his chest pains. Why are you so certain that Kendarik killed him? Well, they used to always fight like cats and dogs. Kendarik always had these new ideas and tried to push them on folks whether they wanted them or not. The guildmaster used to say that he was brilliant, but that they would probably kill each other someday. Although it is a bit odd. What's a bit odd? Well, 
I just think it's odd that Kendarek killed him. Despite all their arguing, I would have sworn that Kendarek truly cared about the old master. Well, I have a question for you then. What do you know about this journeyman Kendarek? He was a poor boy from the streets with no family or friends. The guild master paid his admission fee to the guild because Kendarek was so poor. The old master always said the boy was brilliant, and it would have been a crime to keep him out because of his poverty. Why was Kendarek considered brilliant? Oh, he was always coming up with new ways to do things. He was working on a spell that would allow a single guildsman to raise a large ship by himself. He thought the guild would make a lot more money with his new spell, but the guild master wanted to preserve the traditional ways and they argued about it. He used to say that he argued with Kendarek to train him, to make him tough enough to take over the guild when he passed on. That's what makes it a bit odd. Well, tell me about the murder. What can you tell us about the murder? Well, I heard Kendarek well. and the guildmaster arguing the night of the murder. They always argued, but this was the loudest I'd ever heard. I found the old master dead the next morning when I went to bring him breakfast. Kendarek must have hit him and his old heart must have just given out. I realized immediately it had to be Kendarek that did it and I called for the guards. <laughs> they said I was awfully clever to have figured it out the way I did. Has there been anything unusual going on at the guild lately? Oh, things haven't been going well for the guild recently. It's been losing money no matter what Journeyman Jorath does. What can you tell us about Journeyman Jorath? He's slick, that one. He's in charge of the guild's finances and is the eldest journeyman other than Kendarek. He always backed the guildmaster in any argument, but I don't think he ever really liked him very much. Well... I could just go on and on. <laughs> I like this character. She is funny and, and traumatized. Yes, it's very sad. What's wrong? Someone's forced open this window recently. It was a pretty shoddy job, too. Are you talking to Abigail? Anyway. So, that's one room. And there's this room. Hey. Nice lock. Do you know whose room this is? No. I wonder if it's Jorath's. Think he'd mind if we took a peek? Oh boy, this could get complicated. I can't see. Look at this. There's nothing in here now, but with a lock this complicated, he must normally keep something valuable here. I think we should come back. Tonight after dark. Wow, <laughs> you're really making a plot there, Jasara. All right, well. You heard her. And then there's this room. Somebody's forced this door open. You're certain of this? It's a sturdy door. Complex lock. You wouldn't want to bash it in. The guards would come running. Either someone spent an awful long time trying to pick the lock. Or they used magic. Alright, well, here's yet another room. Journeyman Kandara, please remember the balance of your debt, or Kandara, I've always felt your master was a brother to me. Don't force me to take any actions we might regret later. There will be a reckoning between us. <laughs> Kandark, pay up, or we break your legs. Dear Kandark, it's time again to ask the payments you promised. I understand the depth of financial crisis you are. I follow you. So apparently Kandarak has credit problems, and I don't know why. Just don't have that information currently. Well, maybe we'll find out later. 
All right, well, I'm just about out of time here. I can spend no further time investigating the mystery. So next time, we'll return to Kandarak's room and continue the uh, investigation. See you then.